kawawmat, in this video, we will describe and illustrate a absolute value of a number on the number line as the distance of a number from 0. So, we will focus on absolute value for today's video. Now, what's the opposite? So, you will just give the opposite of the following numbers. So, positive 3, that is negative 3. Negative 4, that is positive 4. For negative 10, that is positive 10. For positive 8, that is negative 8. For negative 12, that is positive 12. And for positive 100, that is negative 100. So, these are the opposite of these numbers. Now, Remember that the opposite is also called the additive inverse. So, kapag uh, tinatanong what is the additive inverse of positive 3, then that is negative 3. What is the opposite of positive 3? That is also negative 3 because the other term for opposite is additive inverse. So, pag sinabi natin additive inverse, that is also referring to its opposite. Next. So, number line. So, we all know that a number line consists of positive integers, negative integers, and zero. Alright. Now, so negative 1 here is the opposite of positive 1 or pwede rin namang vice versa. Pwede positive 1 is the opposite of negative 1. Next, positive 4 is the opposite of negative 4. And negative 7 is the opposite of positive 7. Or pwede rin positive 7 is the opposite of negative 7. So remember, the opposite is positive to negative and the negative to positive. Or additive inverse. Alright, next. So absolute value. What is an absolute value? The absolute value of a number is the distance between that number and zero. So, pag sinabi natin absolute value, it is referring to the distance. When we say distance, we are getting the uh, number of units kung gaano kalayo yung number na yun o yung integer na yun sa zero. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng distance. And distance refers to absolute value. Now, absolute value is denoted by this symbol. So, as you can see, we are using two bars to represent the absolute value. So that, we don't need to write the word absolute value. So, kapag nagre-represent tayo ng absolute value, we can make use of this symbol. So, ano nga ulit yung symbols natin? We can make use of two bars. Okay, let's have an example. How are we going to represent absolute value? And how do we read the uh, ex examples using absolute values? So, first, so this is... The absolute value of 2 is 2 or positive 2 is 2. So, this is how we read the given example. So, ito, ang tawag natin since meron tayong symbols dito, so ibig sabihin absolute value yun. Therefore, this is read as the absolute value of positive 2 is 2. Next, this is the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. And this is, since we have here the negative sign outside our absolute value, therefore, this is read as the negative absolute value of 2 is negative 2. So, ito ang dahilan kung bakit ang sagot natin dito ay nag-negative. Next. So, again, I have zero positive integers and negative integers. Now, what is the distance of positive 4 from zero? So, paano natin kukunin? Paano nga ba kinukuha ang distance? Kasi pag sinabi natin absolute value, that is referring to the distance of a number and zero. Gano kalayo sila sa isa't isa? So, we will count. So, pas hanggang positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the distance of positive 4 from 0 is 4. Okay? What is the distance of negative 4 from 0? So, from 0, magbibilang tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, and tayo sa negative 4, ilang gano kalayo, ilang units, that is 4 also. Now, paano natin isusulat ito in symbol? So, since we are... Uh, referring to the distance, so we will be using two bars. 
So the absolute value of positive 4 is equal to 4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is also equal to 4. Now, anong napansin natin? What have you noticed? When we are trying to get the absolute value of positive 4 and negative 4, as you can see, they have the same answer. Okay? So remember that when we are getting the absolute value of opposite numbers, they must have or palagi silang positive. Okay? So, ito yung kanina. So, the absolute value of 4 is positive 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. Remember that the absolute value of a number is the distance between that number and 0. So, since kinukuha lang naman natin yung layo, yung distance nung number na yun sa 0, so, ibig sabihin, it can never be negative. It is never negative. So, uulitin ko. Kapag distance ang kinukuha natin, hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng negative values doon since we are just counting the units. Alright? Now, so tatandaan na kapag kinukuha natin ng absolute value ng opposite number, so absolute value of 4 and negative 4, pareho lang silang positive because absolute value is referring to the distance. And a distance is never negative. Alright, let's have another example. So, as absolute value of positive 4 is 4. Absolute value of negative 4, that is also 4. Now, why it is negative 4? Okay, so uh, isa-isahin natin. The absolute value of negative 4 here is positive 4. So, I know some of you... Uh, and, um, nagtataka bakit negative 4 eh, kakasabi lang kanina na it must be neg uh, never be negative okay so hindi siya dapat nagne-negative okay let me explain so ito ay negative 4 the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 ito yon okay but since meron tayong negative na nasa labas ng absolute value natin Ibig sabihin, ito yung naging dahilan kung ba't siya negative. Okay? So, ang nagig, ito, yung absolute value of negative 4 here is positive 4. So, ito rin siya. Absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. But since we have the negative sign outside the absolute value, then that makes your answer negative 4. Okay? Same as this one. So, absolute value of 4 is positive 4. But since we have here negative sign outside the absolute value, then that makes your answer negative. Okay. Another. So, this time, aalamin naman natin kung ano yung nasa loob ng absolute value. So, binigay niya yung sagot. The answers are given. So, ito naman, ano ang nasa loob ng absolute value natin? So, think of numbers na kapag kinuha ang absolute value, ang magiging sagot mo ay 2. So, therefore, your x must be equals to 2 and negative 2, a uh, negative 2. Okay? So, kapag sinubstitute natin si positive 2 rito, the absolute value of positive 2, that is 2. Pag sinubstitute naman natin si negative 2 rito, the absolute value of negative 2 is still 2. So, therefore, ang value ng x natin dito ay pwedeng 2, pwedeng negative 2. Right? So, this one, ganun din. Pwede siyang positive 3 and negative 3. This is positive 15 or negative 15. Kasi alin man dyan ang isubstitute mo, the answer will still be positive 15. Next, how about this one? Pag inequality ang binigay sa inyo. So, the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 2. So, ibig sabihin, mas mababa o di kaya naman ay equal to 2. So, paano gagawin natin? So, what are those numbers na mas mababa, less than, or equal to 2? So, we have negative 2, Negative 1, 0, positive 1, and, negative, uh, and positive 2. So, ito yung mga numbers na pwede mong ilagay dito na kung saan ang sagot ay positive 
2 or less than or equal to positive 2. So, let's try. If this is negative 2, so that is 2. Eh, and sabi naman ay equal. If this is negative 1, so the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1, which is less than 2. That is correct. And then 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0, and that is less than 2. So, all of these numbers can be substituted to the variable x. Or simply, we can write this as x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng x mo ay dapat mas mataas o pantay lang equal sa negative 2. So, ano-ano yun? Diba? We have negative 2 and negative 1. And x is less than or equal to positive 2. So, ito naman yun. So, again, these are the possible values. These are the values that can be uh, substituted to your variable x. Let's have another example. So, let us now try to simplify absolute values with operations. So, we are going to perform operations here. So, first, bago tayo mag-simplify, i-perform muna natin yung operations na nasa loob ng absolute value natin. So, this is an absolute value of 4 plus 2. So, that magiging absolute value of 6. Tsaka lang natin kunin ang sagot. That is 6. Next, absolute value of 10 minus 2. So, that will become absolute value of 8. And the answer is 8. Next, absolute value of negative 9 minus absolute value of 2. So, kukunin muna natin yung absolute value ni negative 9. That is 9. And then, kukunin natin yung absolute value ni 2. That is 2. So, 9 minus 2. That is 7. Next, absolute value of 2 plus 3 minus the absolute value of 4 minus 3. So, we will have, we will solve first 2 plus 3. That is 5. And then, 4 minus 3, that is 1. Ito. So, let us simplify. 5 minus 1, that is 4. Next, 7 minus 4, that is 3. And then, 5 minus 3, that is 2. So, let us now simplify. 3 minus 2 minus, because this is subtraction. So, that is 3 minus 2, 1. Okay, how are we going to compare absolute values? So, ito, let us put less than, greater than, or equal. So, this is positive 2. The absolute value of 2 is positive 2. Ito naman, the, absolute va uh, the negative absolute value of 2 is negative 2. So, ito, ito, ang makukuha natin dito ay 2. Kaya lang may negative siya sa labas. So, negative 2. So, if we will compare positive 2 and negative 2, ano ang mas mataas? Siyempre yung positive. Okay? Next. So, this is 10 minus 2. This is 8. This is 6 plus 2. This is also 8. So, they are equal. Next. This is 5 minus 2, 3. Kaya lang may negative sa labas. So, that this is negative 3. And then, 1 plus 1, this is 2. So, negative 2. So, negative 3 and negative 2, which one is bigger? Negative 2, kasi siya yung nasa kanan sa number line. Next, so I have here 8 minus 3, this is 5. And then 6 minus 1, this is also 5, so they are equal. Okay, test yourself. You may pause the video so you can answer on your own without looking at the answer key. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.